This video brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Green Man Gaming. Don't support Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Just go to Green Man Gaming. They're better. Audience, Hunter, welcome to the eerily silent main menu. Eerily silent! Main menu of Sprocket. Uh, this is a game that I found last night, and I decided I really want to check this out. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Let's just go through, let's just go through the sandbox, see what this game is capable of. I think you guys are gonna like this game, because this is a game that allows us to design our own goddamn tank. Which I absolutely, I am absolutely down with that. Alright, let's see. That's a, so there is sound in this game. Okay. So what we have here is... Hmm. Oh, that's good. We could adjust the height of the... We could just do everything here, can't we? Uh, front... Okay, yeah, we could adjust the slopes. The side slopes. We want... Here's the thing about... Here's the thing. Th 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 those slopes are not just for... Making it look, ma making it look nice. You want these shells to bounce off. All right, sponsons, front strip. Okay, so this is the hull, the armor. Now we also have to consider the weight, the mass, the internal space, and everything. Like we gotta, we we gotta consider mobility, uh, our firepower. Like, what kind of gun do we want on this thing? Where do we put the turret? Like, we could put a turret in the hull, actually. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, armor display for the entire vehicle. Symmetry. Overlays. Crew. I suppose they need viewpoints. <laughs> I guess we can't just have them... Yeah... <laughs> the driver viewpoint, he could be over here, that's usually where the driver is. And this... We'll have someone up top. We're gonna have another viewpoint, actually. Or not. Okay. Antennas. We got stowages, crew hatches, lights. Let's put the lights. Okay, so it's not click and drag. It's like, yeah. It's just click and move over. All right. Utilities. Anti-infantry. Yeah, we're going to want... We're, we're going to want some of that. Let's get a coaxial machine gun. Okay, and I don't know how to delete shit. Uh, and I want this up top. Crew hatches. Uh, we're gonna want a few of these. All across the tank. And yes, one on top. And, uh, put one back here so that, that, like, you want more than one door on your tank so that guys can get out. Like, that's... That's fucked up. Uh, alright, so. Requires two transmissions, functions poorly with a small number of gears. Or we could get clutch braking. Disadvantages on that is the cannon can't turn in place, dramatic, slow on... Dramatically slow on turns and poor turns on slope. Okay, so twin transmission. The tracks. Oh, okay. Track width. Oh! We could give it some really wide tracks. <laughs> and we could make a really thick... That's honestly a, probably a great idea, but <laughs> there's probably some design problems here that I'm overlooking. 
if we make the tracks this wide. Probably. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> Because, like, by making the tracks, like, that wide, like, holy shit. <laughs> that might actually be a really bad idea. Because one of the main things with tracks is that it doesn't just make it able to traverse a lot of different terrains. It's also, you're looking to relief, relieve ground pressure. Because, you may not have known this! But tanks are kind of heavy. <laughs> Just put that right there. Yeah, that... That's good. <laughs> Looks like a goddamn raft at this point. Uh... Okay, that's for, like, really big gun. So I think what we're gonna do is... This is gonna be a medium tank. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good with that gun. I like that gun. Alright, so, cannon. The total mass of here is 2.7 tons. Jesus Christ. Uh, caliber... We could absolutely make that a 250 millimeter. Or a 120 millimeter. 100, all right, yeah, 120 millimeter. So a 125 millimeter gun. That's good, we don't need to do anything with that. Uh, torque, elevation, base. Yeah, no, that's not bad. Uh, and also... <laughs> I got an idea. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we could only have one of those. I hate that. I hate the way that looks. Okay, good. I can I could just get rid of it. If I hate the way it looks, I could just get Okay. Remove the coaxial machine gun. We will be adding it back later though, don't worry. We absolutely have to have a coaxial gun that's like really important. All right, anti-infantry. What is this? That's a That is actually a second turret that that holds a machine gun. You know what? Driver. You have the machine gun now. And we also have the 50 up top, so that that's okay. What we've essentially crafted here is a T-34 with very large tracks. <laughs> Which is okay, because the T-34 is a totally awesome tank. Ah! <laughs> Make it that. That's... That's simple enough. Gunner, loader, radioman, commander. Are we seriously going with a four-man crew for this? No, I think we're actually going with a five-man crew. Jesus Christ. For this? For a medium tank? You say so. <laughs> Alright, we'll put the antenna on top of the on top of the gun turret. Viewports, uh We have three viewports. We could go for a fourth, like one on this side. Stowage. That's for like carrying our shit. 
put a nice big one right on the back. We could put two on the back, actually. And some utilities, like, uh, cables, which are actually too long for the tank. Or these, which are actually too long for the tank. Or shovels! Because everybody loves shovels. Or pipes? Yeah, let's go with pipes. <laughs> All right, that's going to make it so that you can't open the thing. Uh, another thing is our tank does not have tow bars. And I'm not actually seeing any tow bars here. I don't know what that is. It's too big for the tank. I'll tell you what, we'll do, we'll do these tow rings. Yeah, you're going to have to bring your own chains in order to tow this thing. And if you have to tow it from the back, you're shit out of luck, pal. <laughs> Commander Cupola, uh, right here in the middle. <laughs> like he rides the he rides on top of the gun like a horse. Perfect. <laughs> Every time you fire the dang thing, he's <laughs> he has a heart attack. <laughs> Perfect. It's absolutely perfect. This is my kind of tank. Alright, mobility. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what is this shit? <laughs> Riveted panels. Uh... And we also have to think of a name. Because we are designing every aspect of this little guy. He's not that big. <laughs> and uh, we also have to think of the engine. Uh, this is a medium engine. Medium tank. Medium engine for a medium tank. With an 800 liter fuel tank. Tracks. We already we are we already looked at the tracks. Engine. We could put in a uh, severely underpowered. All right. How about advanced, medium engine. Raise the uh, RPM by like five hundred and ten. And it'll have a range of 100 kilometers. That's a 6.4 liter V8. Which is not... Uh, for a vehicle this size, maybe bump it up to 12 cylinders. Alright, it'll be slow with 12 cylinders. What if we just put in a second engine? Like, just put a second engine in the thing. Put two engines in it. Uh, ten cylinders will make it slow. Twelve cylinders... Yeah, let's go with a twelve cylinder. That's probably a better idea. Uh... And make it a bit larger. All right, that'll make it fast, actually. Okay, so the engine is taking up a lot of space. And it's going to need a uh, big, big, big fucking, big bastard-sized exhaust vents. Like... Boom, boom, boom. Like, this thing's fuck. like, this engine is fucking huge. What we've essentially done is we put the engine of a fucking Bugatti Veyron with its 2,000 horsepower 
in the back of our medium tank. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so uh, the this this uh, this little guy. Uh, we're gonna call him. Uh, I don't know. I haven't actually been thinking of the name. We're gonna call it the Dud One. <laughs> All right, go ahead and save the Dud One. All right, and let's do a test drive. Not bad. She does have some, she's got some speed to her. That's not bad. Look at the fucking foot. <laughs> uh, the front, uh, the front bits there absolutely, uh, stick out way too far. Nice. Uh, the reload time on that is, however, very long. Because the fucking tank commander is up front, is on top of the gun like, OH MY GOD! <laughs> Alright, trench clearing. Let's see how well she does clearing trenches. Nice! Okay, cool. See how easily she destroys this tree. That's, uh, yeah. That's no good, is it? <laughs> it's <laughs> uh, turret traversal speed is not great. Oh my god, look at her turn. It would actually probably be faster to do this. <laughs> Although then we leave the rear armor exposed, and it's like, shit. I'd like to pit this against, like, a, like, a, like another tank, actually. This is an early access game. <laughs> like, it's got really good sloped armor. It's even sloped at the back a little bit. I, I skipped out a little bit on the sloped armor at the back, but, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think we did pretty all right with this. The treads are really, really, really wide, though. <laughs> though I think th that should actually help relieve uh, ground pressure. The reason, p the, one of the main reasons they don't like the treads being too wide is because landmines. You're mainly trying to. Uh, Relieve ground pressure, avoid landmines. There's a delicate balance. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm not changing it. It's staying that way. <laughs> uh, uh. So currently we have 21 tons worth of armor. And the turret is just basically the default. We have 10 millimeters worth of armor on all sides of the turret. And the front... has 100 millimeters of armor. The side... 75 millimeters, the back is actually 50 millimeters, the top 30, the turret 10 millimeters. The turret is the li is, has the lightest armor on the vehicle. Which might not be the best thing. Because, <laughs> I mean, if you hit that, it... Uh, that thing sticks up above the entire tank, so it's like, if you hit that, what can you do? You can't do anything anymore. 
Essentially, you are an armored box that can just roll around. <laughs> uh, shit. Alright, so that's the sandbox. Let's try scenarios. No tanks land. And we'll see if we can bring the dud one into, uh, into the action here. All right, let's see. Oh, we actually have some, uh, all right, here we go. The dud one. Oh, it's big. It's real big. Uh, what are some of these other ones? Oh, shit. Isn't that a Crusader? I'm pretty sure there's a British tank here that you've designed. Looks good. Ah, fuck. I lost it. Alright, damn it, that looks really good. <laughs> Alright, dud one. Destroy 75% of the artillery. Yeah, you got it. Let's see how she does in the mud. Not great. <laughs> Could be a lot better. Uh, and we've been immobilized. Because the engine overheated. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, here's the thing. We put an absolute beast of an engine in this thing, and now that needs a lot of ventilation. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ventilation. This thing does very, very, very well on the roads. Not so much everywhere else. Uh, that or the transmission burned out. Shit. <laughs> She needs more exhaust, so just put put these giant exhaust vents on the side. Tell you what, if we get rid of the storage, or I don't know, if we if we move the storage elsewhere, I was gonna I was gonna move the storage elsewhere, and we get these giant fans on the back of the damn thing. That should that should keep us moving. Didn't load the gun, and we burned out again. Fuck! Really? <laughs> okay, I don't know what's wrong with it. It might be the transmission. Maybe just raise all of these to 15 and see what it does. Just to see what it does. Let's see if she rolls more than 15 feet. That No, she, no, it's actually worse now. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> really? Alright, one gear. Let's try that. And it immediately breaks. You are actually making it worse. Yeah, no, it, I am actually making it worse now. I don't think it's the gear. Oh, well, here's the problem. You gotta put a medium engine in the fucking thing. Uh, maybe a heavy engine. Okay, new problem. We are actually only allowed to have six cylinders. What we did on the test range was ten cylinders.
What we have right now is underpowered. Raise it up to 2,500 power output. See what that does for us. All right, let's go. Well, so far so good. I spoke too soon, again. <laughs> Shit! Uh, we need more cylinders. Needs, it needs more cylinders, more torque. It might actually be the length of the treads. That's the problem here. Fuck. I liked having my 1.5 meter long tracks. <laughs> All right, bring the fenders back in. Shit. All right, Let's see if that actually helps before I keep it that way. It's about the same speed. I think we pulled a little bit of weight off of it, but... Shit. Oh wait, there's a little engine indicator down the bottom there. Okay, so stop. Just wait a second, let the engine cool. Keep letting it cool. <laughs> this is actually bad. <laughs> I've done it! I made the worst tank in the world! <laughs> I know about design philosophy with with uh, battle tanks. I do not know what kind of engine to put in the fucking thing. <laughs> this is actually terrible. Oh man, we have a 24 liter V6. Six. It has to have eight cylinders. Nothing less. That's. That's our problem here. If we bring it up to 3,000 RPM, how much fuel does that burn? Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, fuel consumption is good, but our range is, and that, that's our range. That, that's our fucking range. <laughs> Uh, sh shit. <laughs> We're at maximum displacement with the fuel here. We're just gonna need to bump it up to 3,000 RPM. See what that does for us. It's probably going to break here in a second because the engine's overheating. Yep. <laughs> yep. This tank is actually less reliable than the Porsche Tiger. <laughs> Which is my go-to for unreliableness. I also want to get these giant fucking vents off of it. <laughs> Okay, the transmission. Maybe it's just gotta be less, you know? I don't know, this might make it worse. No, it, 
It's going pretty much the same distance every fucking time. Maybe it's the powertrain. Requires two transmissions, functions poorly with a small number of gears. Let's try clutch braking and see what happens. So far so good, but literally everything else we've tried made it this far. This tank does not want to live. <laughs> the clutch braking is not the problem. So the designers went back to the drawing board and decided to put two new fuel tanks on it. <laughs> the thumbnail for this is probably just going to be a wrecked tank and Hunter stressing out about it because that's what I'm doing right now. Oh my god. <sighs> the thing is, too, I'm set on building a fucking medium tank here. I don't want to swap the gun out. See, two cylinders would be severely underpowered, but we're limited to six cylinders. If we pump way more fuel into it, will that help? All right, that would be average right there. If that's average... How are we looking now? About the same. Just... It cannot. <laughs> it cannot. Do other tanks have this problem? <laughs> like, let's try uh, a Panther. One of the most unreliable tanks ever made. Okay. It got further than the dud, but yeah, it's having extremely similar problems. Okay, so now I know that it's just broken. <laughs> that the game is just broken. All right, we'll try one more. Uh, let's try Ambush. See if it see if this particular scenario is not broken. We'll pull out our old friend, the Dud One. Designer must be under forty tons for this mission. God damn it. <laughs> okay, uh try something else. It doesn't tell me what... It doesn't tell me what uh, needs to happen with the design on each of these missions at the main menu. Which is annoying. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Roads. She'll do very well on roads. Ah! The fuck? <laughs> Okay, this is one where they're shooting at us. All right, I'm down with that. Uh, let's just figure out what the hell is wrong with the engine, and we will go. Okay, so that's 12 cylinders, 5 liter 
V12 for a very fast tank. Let's see how this does. Oh yeah, this is what is considered very fast. Actually, she is picking up some. She is getting some. Ah! Okay. I got killed by something I couldn't even fucking see. Do we have a zoom on that? Shift is the scope. Okay. There we go. Let them come to us. Still loading. That would be them. It's a miss. You gotta arc it. You gotta arc the shot. And the dud has been destroyed. Because... <laughs> Because some sick bastard decided to put that this fucking hatch on the front of the tank. <laughs> okay, that was a bad plan, but they do need to be able to get out of this thing. Okay. Turn it to face the goddamn baddies. Ow. <laughs> we need the forward slope facing whatever is shooting at us. I see him. Your camo works pretty good there. It takes a long time to load this fucking gun. We need to be aiming like somewhere in the middle. What they hit? Like, okay, they hit it, like, right there, down on the bottom. Okay, that's fixable, actually. All right, let's take the base, and let's have a look at the armor here. Yeah, that right there. So the front strip has very bad armor. Let's just bring it, let's just make it as thick as everything else. As thick as everything else on the front of the tank. This thing now has insanely good forward armor. All around. I can't see them. That's them. All right. I think that's them over there. That's another- that's another fail for the dud. <laughs> God damn it. Will the dud ever win a fight? I see him, I see him. Okay, here's the problem. We gotta be aiming, like, here-ish. Now we know that. And we gotta- we have to hit them before the dud is destroyed. That would be them. Right there. I think that's them. Yeah, that's them. That's a hit. Come on. Oh! F fuck, what'd they hit? I don't know, I think we're just bouncing off this fucking thing. And that is... Yeah, they're... They're getting through on the bottom lip there. That's where they're aiming, and I... <laughs> Uh, 
I would like that. <laughs> I don't want to put more armor on it. You know what? You don't, you don't, you know what this thing fucking needs? Just a even bigger gun. Something like, uh, this. Okay, uh, now, the cannon, barrel length, 3.61 meters, that just looks fucking awesome. <laughs> Alright, the caliber, this is gonna be a fucking, this is gonna be a big boy, a 240 millimeter with a 78 meter shell length. I don't know how many I don't know how many of these things we're going to be able to fit inside this thing. Uh, actually not that bad. Uh and I and I also don't know what this is going to do for the engine. Uh, uh, still not that bad. Okay. Must be under 75 tons. God damn it. <laughs> oh wait, we're at 76. Okay, okay. That's not too bad. <laughs> 235 millimeters still counts <laughs> insufficient force to aim the gun add a bigger motor or reduce the cannon's mass alright what we've essentially done is we have put too large of a gun on the dud and it also takes 30 fucking seconds to load it now <laughs> oh no I still want to fire the damn thing, so we're gonna... We're obviously gonna wait the 30 seconds. Okay, another problem that I'm noticing is that... We cannot angle the gun up and down. So we gotta be, like, right up in their face in order to hit them. The reversal speed's not bad, though. Okay. We gotta be up in their face in order to hit them, so let's go. Ow. That was a warning shot, and holy shit. It will strike fear in the enemy. They'll be like, oh my god! I mean, you told me a lot, but you didn't tell me their gun was that big! Nobody tell them it takes 40 fucking seconds to reload. Ow! Nice bounce. <laughs> right off the front of the fucking tank. And that is dead. <laughs> this was a stupid plan. We were stupid. <laughs> oh God. Why did we think that was a good idea? Okay. We need a smaller cannon on this thing. I want a 150 millimeter. Something that doesn't look fucking stupid. Like that, that right there just looks stupid. That looks good. I like that. I like that. I like the look of that. Another gunner sight for our boy. Our gunner boy. So we've brought the whole weight of the thing down to 55 tons because it's not hauling this big, massive fucking gun. Now you can, uh... Okay. The gun cannot move up and down. Add a bigger motor or reduce the cannon's mass. All right, fine. We'll bump it down to 130. Is that good? 
We'll even make the shells a little bit smaller. Half a meter long. That's average. Insufficient force to aim the cannon. Well, it also can't move up and down. <laughs> What we essentially need is this. What good is a tank if I can't angle it? <laughs> More kilonewton. Let's let's quadruple the amount of force on and bring the gun mount armor up to 72 millimeters at the front. It is now a 50 ton tank. 12 kilonewtons. Insufficient force. Why is that insufficient? All right, fine, I hear you. Put a smaller gun on it. <laughs> no, it's still too big! Oh, point ten meters. Okay, I don't know what I did to fuck up this gun. But I'll bring it down to a 100 millimeter gun. All right, that, that's better. She can now move up and down. Give it less torque. Uh, more torque. More torque. All right, yeah, that's working better. She can now elevate. It takes way less time to actually load the thing. Ow. Anybody see where that came from? There it is. Die! I'll show you. With our new and improved dud. Shit. All right. Get us into this field. They can't hit us if we're moving. Yeah, see? See that? Okay. Ow. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, we're up against King Tigers for this? No wonder we're losing. We're a medium tank up against heavy shit, and I'm not even using great tactics here. Crap. Get me a Centurion or something. Okay, now. Now we can win. Because our tank design isn't shit. We were immediately destroyed. <laughs> the dud is... The dud is doing better than real tanks. I was too hard on myself. Alright, I'm only gonna do this one more fucking time and then I'm, and then I'm gonna call the... And then I'm gonna call this tank a failure. I do think we should come back to this game at some point though. That doesn't count. We didn't get very far. I want to destroy at least one tank. Come on, the T-34 fucking uh, clean house when uh, Russia went up against the Nazis. These King Tigers ain't shit. Though they did have a lot of them.
Great. Killed by something I couldn't even fucking see. It's like I'm playing Battlefield again. Can't even see him. Shit. All right. We'll try a new tactic. I'm going this way. And apparently we've been immobilized. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We we lost a tread. I didn't even know that this game did that. <laughs> Shit. You sent me. You sent me one tank up against. God knows how many king tigers, and that went right into the gunner sight right there. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually getting really into this. I could see myself playing a lot more of this game. I'll tell you what our problem is. Our gun traversal speed is garbage. And that, anytime we get hit anywhere, in any place, on any part of the turret, it dies. Let me just see if I can snipe out one tank. Those are some controls that I'm not seeing here. Lights, info. There are actually not a lot of controls here. There is a button to lock our aim though. I like that. I think it's, they're not even moving. They're like, yeah, no, you come to us. Little rat bastard. <laughs> you little rat tank. There he is. You and your rat tank. That's a miss again. It does not take long to load this tank. We're about to die. Or not. Okay. That was too high. Whoa! He missed. Uh huh. Come on, you. Ow. We're just spitting at one another. Maybe I should aim somewhere else, actually. Where'd we get hit? I can't even see where the fucking shell entered. Not, not a clue. <laughs> All right, well. I guess that's a win for the King Tigers. Shit. Well, that's Sprocket, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, can I like... Oh. Uh, that, that, uh, that's that. <laughs> Shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button really hard with your head. It's not my fault. They sent me up against King Tigers. Do you know how much I respect that tank? <laughs>